Hey, I'm G, and if you're new around here, I've been dealing with kidney stones for three years, and this is what my life has looked like for the past two months. I've been struggling mentally, physically. My symptoms were just getting worse and worse over time. My symptoms were just getting worse over time. I was losing a lot of weight. I basically just become a shell of myself at this point. It's so hard to deal with this. <laughs> so before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell on because this is going to be part one of my very real but raw tough journey of going for kidney surgery. With going to hospital, I actually didn't need that much, so I just packed my essentials, which were my toiletries, of course. Things that are going to make me feel good and smell good. And I'm talking lip balm, Sol de Janeiro, the nicest smelling body care I've ever used. Spoiler alert, the whole ward was obsessed with how I smell. We got the train in the morning as we needed to be there by half two. Due to my heightened risks, this was my only option left, which was to go to London for surgery and to be under the care of one of the UK's best kidney stone specialists because no one locally could actually give me treatment, which is the reality of being 25 but being the size of a child. Even though going to London was terrifying for me and being away from home, Luckily, I had my mum there, but I did have to say goodbye to my dad at the train station. Huge thank you to Avanti for not only making the journey so smooth and stress-free, they really did go above and beyond with help, care, support. Honestly, big love to Avanti. We love you. Once we arrived at London Euston, we went straight, straight to grab a taxi and on our way to Guy's Hospital. With London traffic, we always know that it takes double the amount of time to get there, so it took us around half an hour to 40 minutes to get to get to the hospital. But it was actually such a sunny day when we arrived, which kind of made me sad because I was like, oh my God, gorgeous weather, and I'm going into the hospital. So that's when the reality hit. But we arrived at Guy's Hospital, which is incredible. Never ever in my life have I been to a London hospital, so it's all a new experience for me. Everything was in walking distance, so right where I was here, there was actually an MS stroke, well, it was like a WH Smith stroke MS food, which is perfect for my mum, me, if I wanted to grab anything, I grabbed a Voss water and it's brilliant little snacks and things perfect place to go and here we are arriving at my ward which is the kidney ward of course and this was my home for the next four days unfortunately when i arrived they actually didn't have any beds available for me so me and mum were waiting in this room for hours. Luckily, with my mum's hotel only being a three minute walk, we actually decided to go back to the hotel and there was also a Tesco next to my mum's hotel. Again, incredible. And basically chill there until a bed was available. And that is how we spent the rest of the first day, waiting for a bed to come available. So come back part two and day two to find out whether or not I get a bed and a day full of pre-surgery tests and I mean there was a lot so make sure you definitely don't miss part two.